I'm about to do a workout number three of the Zwift Academy. Um, I didn't do as much preparation for this workout, so I'm not exactly sure what's going to be coming at me, um, but I'm still pretty excited about it. Both of the workouts I've done already have been really fun. So far, my, my schedule has been working out so that I can continue to ride, do the workouts as a group workout, so um, that should be fun. I did switch out um, my power meter. So I usually use my husband's power meter and he's using it. So I switched back to my old speed and cadence sensor. So everything so far is still working, but hopefully I don't have any dropout problems while I'm doing my workout. So crossing my fingers. I just finished uh, workout number three. Uh, it was a lot more fun than I was expecting. It was a lot harder than I was expecting. So, well, I guess I wasn't really expecting anything, but, but it was hard. Um, even though I had, I switched out the, I switched out my power meter for my speed and cadence sensor and I tested everything, making sure the connection was working, everything was getting communicated to my, uh, computer through the companion app and it was all working. Um, and then right when I, um, Right when I noticed it was almost time to start the, the workout, I noticed that um, my speed and um, cadence dropped out. So then I had to troubleshoot that a little bit. It took me um, about a minute and a half to figure that out. Um, so then once I started writing, then I had lost the whole group. And I wasn't sure kind of at that um, at that much separation if the rubber banding would, would bring me back together. And so I was I was kind of bummed out to start with and I was it just wasn't as fun um, to be by myself. It feels a little bit demoralizing when I was really looking forward to riding with a group. Um, so I decided I would try to catch everyone. And so I was still, I wasn't trying to blow the workout though. So I was still trying to stay pretty close to the, to the target power, um, but maybe just at the high end. And eventually I did catch the group, which was super motivating um, and super morale boosting because it was right before the uh, four minute free ride section of the workout. And being in the bunch just really helped me focus on um, holding, holding my power as long as I could. If I was by myself, I don't, I don't think I would have done as well. Um, but yeah, that first four minute free ride, I, it would have helped if I had looked at the workout before, so I would have had a target in mind. But on the fly, I decided to try to average about 200 watts for that, uh, for that section. And I was able to do it. I don't remember. I think my average was around 230. Um, it was a long four minutes, but I, I managed to at least, uh, to at least beat my goal. Uh, so that was good. And then those intervals at the end of the workout um, were just, it was, it was tough. Um, it's funny how long two minutes can seem. Uh, I was able to, to complete it. I got the, the gold star, so at least I achieved that. Uh, I missed a lot of the other stars in the workout, kind of trying to catch the group. Um, yeah, so overall it was really fun. It was, um, I wasn't expecting anything since I didn't do much prep. Uh, but it was really fun. At the end of the ride, I kind of checked my, my stats and I noticed that for my, I think it was for my one minute power and my five minute power is kind of almost at my best. So that was, that made me feel good. Feels like I'm, I'm gaining back some fitness. So that's exciting. And I might even kind of go beyond what I was at before. Uh, so that's really exciting. But yeah, that, that was the workout. It was really fun. I really love riding in the group workouts. I can't say it enough. Um, all the chat and just feeling like you're around other people uh, makes it so much more fun and makes it easier to, to concentrate um, knowing that you're, you're just riding along with other people who are, who are pushing themselves makes you want to push yourself even more. Uh, so yeah, I really hope I can continue to make time, uh, and schedule the, the group workouts into my, uh, into my schedule. Uh, so yeah, I think that that pretty much sums it up, but yeah, that was my workout. And I guess my, my next event, um, it's not going to be until next Monday. I'm going to do one of the segment group rides. So I'm really looking forward to that and having a, a different experience. So yeah, that's it. I'm about to do my first segment group ride of the 2020 Zwift Academy. I'm really looking forward to this ride. It's something new. Uh, I haven't spent too much time on Zwift trying to uh, keep track of my times on any segments. So I'm not sure um, where I am 
for some of these segments how fast my times were. There are two groups to the segment group rides, the A group um, and the B group, and they're different routes and the B group has less climbing. I first signed up for a group A, being a little bit ambitious, but I decided since it's my first one, I switched to the B group, which has about, I think, about 1,500 feet of climbing. So we'll see how that goes, how long it takes me to actually do it. Um, I didn't really prep for this, uh, for this ride. So I'm not sure exactly how I'll know uh, which segments are the ones to to go for, but hopefully there's enough uh, prompts on the screen to, to tell me when to go. I'm really curious about this type of ride. I'm hoping that I'll be able to schedule in um, all four uh, segment group rides. So there are two different ones and then an A and B category for each one. So I'm hoping that um, uh, before the Academy ends, I'll be able to do all of them. Right on! I just finished the segment group ride on the London course. Uh, I'm really glad I chose to switch to group B because I did the B route and it took me almost an hour and a half to finish. So I think that if I had done the A route, I probably, I don't know, I would have been going really slow, I think. Um, it was fun. I don't think I was quite prepared. I was expecting to have some cues on the screen telling us when each of the segments were going to be starting. I read the description for the course uh, a few days ago, so it wasn't fresh in my mind. Um, I thought I remembered like a sprint segment and then a climbing segment, so I kept that in mind. But once we started, I wasn't sure, once the ride started, I wasn't sure where the segments were going to start. So. I was just kind of taking cues from everyone around me and trying to uh, keep my power up as much as I could. Um, so I, I kind of fell into a group. I was around uh, maybe five other riders um, for, for the first part of the ride. And then uh, we were approaching a sprint segment and I noticed that everybody else was picking up their power. So I said, well, maybe, maybe this is the section. Uh, so I, I went for that sprint. I haven't checked to see if that was the right uh, segment or not, uh, but I'll, I'll take a look at my, my ride and see if I, I hit the right spots. Um, the climb at the end, I knew it was coming, um, but it was long. I was able to keep my power up. My whole, um, my whole goal for the ride was to keep my power up to go as fast as possible so I wouldn't be so the ride wouldn't be too long, uh, but it still ended up being a really long ride, an hour and 20 minutes. Usually I like to try to keep my rides to an, an hour, uh, but this one was, was quite a bit longer. But um, in the end, it, it felt good. I felt like I was, to, I was able to keep my power up. My FTP went up at the end of the ride by two watts, um, so at least that's something. Uh, but I knew I was feeling strong. Um, I, I guess I just wasn't sure what to expect with this type of ride and I didn't feel, uh, because it felt like I was just kind of riding on my own and I didn't have those cues, I didn't have really a lot of targets to push myself. So I think for the next uh, segment rides, I'll do a little bit more prep and try to set some goals for myself ahead of time so that those are in my mind and I'm not trying to kind of come up with them on the fly while I'm riding and also trying to, to keep up my pace. So yeah, overall I liked it, but I think with some more prep it would be uh, a lot more fun. So I'm still gonna gonna plan to do the rest of the segment rides. I don't know if I'll ever make it to the A group, but um, definitely the B I think I can handle. So we'll we'll see. Hopefully I continue to improve and uh, increase my fitness, and maybe by the end I'll be able to do one of those uh, segment group rides. I'm getting ready to do workout number four for the Zwift Academy. It's been quite a few days since I've done any of the Zwift Academy activities. I was taking some evening classes uh, for a few days in the past couple of weeks and was planning a backpacking trip. So that kind of took up some of my time and, and threw off my training schedule a little bit. So I'm trying to get back into it. Um, getting workout number four done today. Uh, I haven't had much time to actually look into the workout and see what it's going to be like and prepare for it. So the workout will be a little bit of a surprise, but I'm really excited to do it and get back on the Zwift Academy.
so I just finished workout number four, so that means I'm halfway through the Zwift Academy workouts, which is pretty exciting. Um, I don't know how I feel about this workout. It definitely wasn't my favorite. Um, I just didn't feel like I was pushing myself too hard on the, on the intervals and the rest time between the intervals was really long. So um, it was a little bit boring, I think, while I was on the bike, but um, overall, I think it was okay. Definitely not my favorite, but I'm glad to get that one done. Yeah, so I feel like I'm making my way through the program pretty well. Um, I don't have any uh, other big time obligations uh, over the next few weeks, so hopefully I'll be able to get back on schedule and, and finish out the program.